Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be shampooing my living room carpet with the Vax Rapid Ultra 2 Carpet Washer. Now this carpet was done fairly recently, in fact the last time I shampooed this carpet was with my Bissell Healthy Home Deep Cleaner, which if you want to see the video for that you can check back on my other videos. But despite the fact it's only been two or three weeks, the carpet's got filthy again because we've been having a big golden retriever staying with us for a week. I've got two other dogs and they've been for lots of walks and the carpet is pretty dirty again. It's a nice sunny warm day so I thought it's the best time to demonstrate the actual performance of this machine which I did unbox quite a while ago and again if you want to see me unboxing this you can check my YouTube channel. But I thought it's time we had a proper demonstration of this. This is one of Vax's best-selling carpet washers. It's a Witch Best Buy. It's also one of the quietest carpet washers I've used. I think the Bissell is slightly quieter, but this model is far quieter than the Vax Dual V that I've owned, and it's quieter than the Vax Oasis Complete, which again, you can see a video of that if you wish to. Right, I'm gonna run through the features of the machine before the demo show you how to fill it um, and how to use it and show you what this attachment at the top is for and how we use the cleaning tools. Alright so here we have the Vax Rapid Ultra 2 carpet washer. It's quite a big hefty bulky machine. A lot of the bulk is provided at the back by all the, the built-on hose and everything. You can actually remove that and normally I would remove this, I wouldn't have it on but for the purpose of the demonstration I will keep it on but you can actually take this part off which makes the machine lighter and a bit easier to handle. Another attachment which is available on this model, it's not available on all the Ultras but this is a pre-treatment wand and that enables you to spray solution onto a stain and leave it while you're um, waiting for the solution to to penetrate and deal with a tough stain just before you shampoo. That again can be removed if you don't want to store it on the body of the machine. Well we're up at the top we might as well show you what's what. This is a trigger that you squeeze to release the shampoo solution. Moving down we have the clean water tank. It's quite a large capacity it holds four and a half litres of cleaning solution quite easy to remove, you just press this button in, the whole tank lifts out, you've got a carry handle there and there's a little stopper there which you remove to fill it up with hand hot water up to the maximum fill level. You also need of course to add the detergent which I'll be showing you how to add shortly. Once you've filled that, that just pops in and clicks nicely into place. Moving down we've got a big foot operated on off switch and at the other side, with an imprint of a shoe, is the button you press to release the handle to the operating position. Just below the clean water tank we've got this little whatever it is, doodah. That is the connection you use when you're using the pre-treatment spray or when you're using the cleaning tools. And this is the dirty water tank. On the dirty water tank we've got this here which is a little opening, you use that when you're using the hose, the hose just plugs into there and then the solution tube plugs in behind it. Always before washing your carpet make sure that that is firmly shut. If you've got it slightly open like that you'll be losing suction and you'll find that the machine isn't picking up very well through the front of the nozzle. So just make sure that is firmly clicked shut. The tank has a little handle as well, which just lifts out, not so daisy, lifts out of the machine like that. At the back, you have a little stopper here. You just remove that when you need to empty it. The dirty water pours out of there, and make sure again that you pop that back on. Just trying to trying to hold do it one handed, there we are, pop it back on there before you use it again. There's also a little filter here that will trap any dog hairs or lint and it has indeed, it's not been cleaned. That's easy to clean, you can just clean that under running water 
and then dry it before popping it back. But that, as you can see, that's done its job by collecting bits of hairs to stop them getting into the motor. The thing is to always thoroughly vacuum your carpet before you wash your carpet, which will prevent a lot, lot of this happening. And I'd also recommend before washing your carpet to shampoo your, to vacuum your carpet just a little bit slower than you would normally do. Now the reason I'm putting it on the wrong way. The reason I'm saying this is the more dirt you can get out of your carpet before you wash it, the better. So if you normally quickly whip round, just take twice as long to do your vacuuming. Overlap the strokes, even go in the other direction as well. Crisscross your strokes, just to ensure you've got as much dirt out of your carpet as you can before you wash it, and you'll get better results. Underneath, we've got the rotating brush bar, very similar to the brush bar you'd have on an upright cleaner. So that rotates, there's spray underneath, so the solution is sprayed onto the carpet, and then the brush agitates the pile, works the solution deep into the carpet pile, and then the dirty solution is sucked up into the dirty water tank. There's a static brush here. That's there because in this section is where the drive belt is. So in order to get some sort of brushing across the full width, Bax have added a static brush there, which obviously will not perform as well as the rotating brush. But when you're washing carpets, it's always best to overlap your strokes anyway um, to about that degree so you know that you're getting the brushing action right across the carpet. So that's the base. We'll just pop the tank back on. One thing I will just show you about the tank. When I first got this machine, I thought it, it wasn't picking up, and some reviews have said it's not picking up the water. It is very easy to put this tank on in a slightly incorrect position. I'll see if I can show you. Now you see it's gone on perfectly that time. You must ensure that it is located. Right, there we are, I've done it incorrectly. Now it seems this, cl this clip has closed, so it would seem that it's okay. But if you look closely, you can see I've not quite got the tank in place properly. That will mean that the actual nozzle isn't touching the carpet. So you're not going to get much removed from there. So you just have to make sure that it is flush here. You see that? That needs to be flush. Otherwise it will not pick up. It might pick up some, but it won't pick up very much. So if your machine isn't collecting the water as it should, that's the first thing you check. Check that you've got the tank in correctly, the dirty water tank, because now that is touching that is touching the carpet so you'll be getting the dirty solution sucked up at the front there. At the back of the cleaner we've got cord storage here, there's a hook at the bottom in the famous Vax orange, you just turn that hook upwards to release the whole cable and then you've got your built-in hose and your small cleaning tool, so that's for your upholstery, your stairs, uh, your car interior, and for getting in those little places around furniture where you can't clean with the main head. Like I say, that comes off fairly easily. Um, I'll just show you it actually. And like I say, if you want the machine to be a bit lighter when you're washing the carpet, we can remove this remove the hose entirely and just leave the hose caddy on. The hose caddy does come off as well. You just turn this at the top and the other one here at the bottom and the whole caddy will come off. Um, but for storage it's easier to leave the caddy on because then everything stores on board the machine. At the back we've got an exhaust vent. Unlike some cleaners it doesn't blow downwards. Some cleaners have a system where it blows the hot air down onto the carpet this model doesn't, but I have found this does leave carpets particularly dry, so I don't think it really needs the additional blow dry effect. So the exhaust air exits out of the back there. 
Right, I think that's a brief tour of the machine. What I'll show you now is how to fill the cleaner and then we'll pre-treat a couple of uh, stains on the carpet. Right, well I'm using Vax's Ultra Plus carpet and upholstery cleaning solution. It is the best solution to use. It's a little pricey, but you can get it for this size bottle, which is a 1.42 litre bottle. It starts at around £10. Uh, the average price is £16.99. At the moment, at make, uh, making this video of June 2013, Vax have an offer where you buy one of these, get one free. So it's always worth waiting for the offers and stocking up, but you can, from Amazon, occasionally get this for about $9.99, or if you use their subscribe service at the moment, you can get it for $8.99 if you subscribe to receive it on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, basis or once every three months, whatever you want. So that is the best solution. Now, one little shortcoming of the Ultra 2, it doesn't have a measure to tell you how much solution to put in. So, it does tell you on the bottle you need 40 ml per 1 litre of water. Now, the tank takes 4.5 litres of water, so if my maths is correct, that work works out at 180 millilitres of solution. So I have to use a jug for that. Unfortunately, there's no sort of measure. If your carpets are very dirty, then up to 200 ml of solution would be okay. So this is going to be a little bit tricky one-handed because that doesn't stand up very easily on its own. So we'll first pour in the solution. Now that is a bit more, well that is a lot more than the amount, but I've actually added um, an extra cleaning solution to this because I've got pets. I've bought, I'll just show you. This simple solution, stain and odour remover, I find it very good. You can use it neat in a spray over any, uh, you know, urine or sick or whatever, um, and leave it to soak. Or you can mix it in with your carpet shampoo. And I've used the amount that the manufacturer states, so I've added that to my Vax solution. Whether Vax like that or not, I don't know, but I'm still using the regular Ultra Plus. Now we just need to fill the tank with hot water, not boiling, up to the max fill line. See if we can do this without spilling water everywhere. So I think we'll just cut now to a full tank because you don't want to be watching this, do you? Well, I've filled it up to the max fill line, or just a bit over, but I'm sure we're not going to fall out over that, are we? And I've screwed the cap back on. So all I need to do now is carry the full tank of my clean solution back to the machine and click it into place. Right, so I've plugged the machine in ready. Just got to pop the tank into position. Just locate it at the bottom first until it's in and then just push forward until you hear a nice satisfying click. So that's filled up now with my hand hot water and Vax cleaning solution. Now I've got a couple of heavy soil marks on the carpet. Probably won't show up but there are a few. There's a little mark there, sort of an oily mark, I'm not sure where that's from. And in the middle of the room you can just see there. Now I hope that comes out and I think that is a previous stain that was cleaned up using another machine, a Bissell Spotbot, and I think the machine leaked and left that mark there before I saw it, saw it had done it. So we'll pre-treat that mark and some other stains as well and we'll leave it for 10 minutes before we actually wash the carpet. To pre-treat we're going to use the onboard pre-treat wand or nozzle or attachment, it's not really a wand. So all this does, you've got a little red button to release the cleaning solution. There's a jet there and this enables you to spray the solution in a fine mist onto the stain or heavy soiled area. This is ideal for areas like near your front door, doormats 
or your heavy traffic areas, they tend to be areas like this between your kitchen, door, uh, your living room. In fact, any entrance areas tend to be where you get a lot of the heavy traffic. So what we do, got this end of the attachment and we just need to click it into place into here. Just push down firmly until you hear, hear a click. That's locked nicely into place. And then we're ready now to spray on the solution. So we'll start with this stain here. And all we have to do, turn the machine on using the foot operated on off switch. And then we'll press the release button. This has not been used for a while, so it might take a few seconds for the solution to actually reach the jet. Right, well I've put a, a decent amount of solution on those spot stains there. Um, I've also done a general spraying over the doorway, which is a heavy traffic area. And I've put some solution down on the stain I've got in the middle of the room. Once I've done that, all we need to do is take out the end. And now really, it's basically ready to go for carpet washing. So we'll wait 10 minutes and then we'll start washing the carpet. Just over half an hour later, my carpet has been vaxxed clean. That area in the middle of the room, that stain seems to have gone. And the most heavily soiled area looks pretty clean. And it's brought the pile up. And as I say, this carpet was shampooed less than a month ago, but there is a marked difference. It's easier for me to see than perhaps for you to see 
on camera but it has done a very good job and let's just feel now that is very dry let's push my hand down <coughs> obviously a little bit of moisture you don't expect it to be bone dry but that has certainly left the carpet drier than the the Bissell machine so without any further ado let's go to the sink I've saved up all my dirty water and we'll pour it down and see how much muck the vax has removed from the carpet. Well here's the stuff that I've taken out of my carpet. Obviously there's a lot of foam. The carpet has been shampooed several times so there always will be foam. And I've only just poured the last tank into there. So we might be able to see a bit better. That is pretty, pretty dirty. Let's pour the whole thing away. Try and get a nice shot, a nice filthy shot for you. You can just see under that foam it is muck. And at the bottom of the bowl, there's grit or sand. I mean, I live in a new build, so there's still building works going on nearby. So I do find there's a lot of sand and grit in the carpet, but the vax has removed a lot of that. So, after shampooing, all I have to do now is try and keep dogs and people out of this room as much as possible only for the next hour or two it's a, a warm sunny day I'm going to open the windows to get some air flowing through the front windows and the back door to get a nice draft through and the carpet will soon be dry enough to walk on and certainly if you've moved any furniture you'll be able to put furniture back I'll just show you I can't I won't demonstrate it because I've just used all the shampoo but I'll just show you as a final thing just where the hose plugs in and how to do that. So you get the hose included. It's just a case of lifting the hose port and plugging the hose in. Trying to line it up while, while filming, that's it. Just turn it until it locks in place and then you take this part Pop it in here till it's in firmly. That's in firm. So now there's nothing else you have to do. You just switch on, and the suction is diverted through the hose. So you've got a, a spray jet here and a trigger release here. So it works much like the big machine, apart from there's no rotating brush. You've got three rows of static brushes but it cleans in a similar way. You just spray the solution, comes out in a fine jet behind the nozzle, agitate the solution into your stain or your carpet or upholstery, and then you go over with suction only to remove the soiled solution. And you can see, because that's clear, you can see all the solution coming up. So if you wanted to do your furniture, it would just be a case of squeezing the trigger back and forth slowly, a few wet passes, then stop squeezing the trigger and then just concentrate on removing as much of the solution as you can until you can see no more liquid going up the clear head there. So there we have it. That's the Vax Ultra 2 carpet washer and I've got some very lovely clean carpets. It's a bright sunny day so I'm outside taking all my clothes off and to lie in the sun with my zhuzh on and of course my SPF. We can't forget that can we? So for me Roger I hope you've enjoyed the video. So if you want a carpet washer the Vax Rapid Ultra 2 is one I would recommend. It's the best buy in which but it is quite heavy and bulky. 
So if that's a concern for you, there are lighter models available from other companies. But this does a fantastic job. I believe which gives it five out of five for carpet washing and drying. And drying is just as important as the washing part because the more liquid you can get out of the carpet, the better. The quicker the carpet dries and obviously the cleaner it looks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on floor care products from me. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.